chose On ne tombe pas comme ça Amoureuse d'un visage Que l'on croise dans la rue C'est un jeune homme que j'ai rencontré Plusieurs fois et qui m'aime Nous voulons nous marier The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, Jacques Demy, 1964. Can we talk about how beautiful this film looks? I'm amazed that more like hipster nightclubs don't just project it against a wall with the sound off as just wallpaper. It is the most lickable color. Like the movie looks like it tastes good. The songs by Legrand, the beautiful colors, the beautiful sets, the fabrics, the wallpaper. All of this color and sweet sound is used to tell one of the, I wouldn't say dark, but uncompromisingly real love stories. J'ai reçu cette feuille de route et je dois partir pour deux ans. A lot of people, when they watch The Umbrellas of Schoenberg for the first time, are so shocked by how every single piece of dialogue is sung. Every single piece of dialogue is sung, sung by the mailman. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, madame. Sung by the mechanics in the garage. Le moteur cliquait encore un peu à froid, mais c'est normal. And the dialogue is not necessarily rhymed or musical. They're just singing it. Everyone looks at like the French New Wave and then the New Wave of Hollywood is they're trying to tear down the studio system. These people were celebrating the studio system. Demi was about we are reprocessing American big studio product and adding weird personal twists to them. Je suis enceinte, maman. C'est épouvantable, enceinte de Guy. Comment est-ce possible? Rassure-toi. Come to the moon. Also, in a weird way, he was hearkening back to a lot of the pre-code musicals, which did tell darker stories and mm. did have very, very difficult endings, and people were okay with that back then. And then also, I don't want to get into like the male gaze or but god damn it, Catherine Deneuve is just like otherworldly. It is uh, it is science fictionally beautiful. Vous êtes mon roi. Merci Geneviève, mettez cette couronne. Especially when she's looking across the table and goes, you are my king. Yeah. And you're like, are you kidding me? Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's one of those moments where a director got an actress, or I would even argue like Paul Newman in Cool Hand Luke, mm -hmm. an actor is there and they are at this animal physical prime and it's been caught on film it doesn't happen all the time but when it does just appreciate the cosmic luck that that happened it would not be illogical if that movie came out and then she did a bunch of horrible movies after it because no one knew what to do with her i could see her derailing a film because you're like she's so why isn't everyone in this movie just like stopping and going let me get my let me throw my wedding ring in the ocean and just, <laughs> please let's just get married right now like it, that that's what the movie would be it, she's just so ridiculously beautiful you almost start laughing <laughs> 